Candles in Space A boy called David is going to Mars in a spaceship with his family. How does he celebrate his birthday while on the spaceship? Read and find out. My birthday was going to be extra special for two reasons. For one thing, as Commander Park said, Nobody's ever turned nine in space before, David. Mom, my sister Rebecca and I were moving to Mars for a year. We've spent almost two weeks in the spaceship so far. It would take another 30 days before we got to the Martian colony. I was trying to keep the other reasons secret, but the day before my birthday, Rebecca caught me with my cheeks puffed way out. What are you doing? Practicing to blow out all the candles this year? She laughed. <laughs> this year I will, I said. Everybody on the ship will be watching, so? Oh, David! My sister interrupted. Your cake can't have candles. Why not? Everyone knows fire on a spaceship is too dangerous. When I turned away, she patted my shoulder. At least you don't have to worry about blowing them all out. Yeah, look, don't tell mom about this, okay? I don't want her to feel bad about it. It's not her fault that candles aren't safe in space. Our mother has an important job maintaining the ship's electrical systems. Besides, I wanted to act mature about this. Most of the people on the ship are older than I am, with important work to do. Even my sister is helping with some science experiments. If I couldn't blow out the candles like I wanted, at least I was old enough not to whine about it. After dinner on my birthday, Mom floated into the cafeteria carrying my birthday cake. I was amazed. Candles! I shouted staring at the nine candles shining on top of the cake. I thought fire wasn't allowed on a spaceship. Look closer. My mother said the candles were really electrical lights with tiny flame-shaped bulbs on top. Awesome! I said, but I wish I could blow them out. She laughed. Wouldn't be real birthday candles if you couldn't. She blew and all nine went out. Another puff and they lit up again. Did you invent those? Rebecca asked. No, these have been around since way back in the 21st century. Shrugging, my sister mouthed the word. Sorry. At me, I smiled back. Even big sisters don't know everything. Everybody sing! Ordered Commander Park. Once the passengers and crew were done, I took my deepest ever breath. I am nine now. I can do this, I thought. Everyone watched the candles. Only eight went out. Quickly, I took another breath. Now the last candle went out, but the other eight lit up again. I blushed. I should have remembered that one puff turned them off and on. Want to try again, David? Asked the commander. He turned the last one on. You can do it. I took another breath and blew as hard as I could. All the ship's lights went out. Everyone gasped. Even when it's night on the ship, there's always a soft glow. But now, my candles were the only visible light except for the stars. You didn't have to blow that hard, David, said Rebecca. I laughed and so did Commander Park. <laughs> but the Yates twins started crying. They're only five. I guess all the darkness was kind of scary 
because some of the grown-ups were asking, What's wrong? When is the backup power coming on? A circuit probably overloaded, said mom. I'll take a look. Does anyone have a flashlight on them? I left mine in my toolbox. Mine's in my quarters, said Lieutenant Alvarez. So is mine, said someone else. Could you use the candles? I asked. I pulled one out. Good idea, said the commander. Mom plucked a candle off the cake. I let Emmanuel and Miriam Yates each have one too. They started giggling. <laughs> Watching tiny lights moving around in zero gravity was fun. Wow! Whispered Rebecca. Looks like fireflies in space, David. It wasn't long before Bomb had the spaceship's lights working again, and that's how I helped fix the spaceship's lights with lights of my own. Definitely my most awesome birthday ever.